Vacation. Hey, welcome back, everyone, for some more Go Vacation. And without further ado, we're going to be going and get to the snow resort and finding all the treasure chests. So without further ado, by the way, I hope you guys are having a good start to the week. But I gotta be honest with you, I'm actually recording this the same t day as what I did with yesterday's video. Of course, you guys are seeing this today, which is Monday. But I actually recorded this and the previous video at the same time. So, but anyways, I'll explain to you why here in a minute. As you can see, I'm already at level 60. Level 60 hype. But yeah, we're gonna be going to the snow resort and we're gonna be going during the day. I'm sort of gotta be going in a circle in this place, but um, you'll see what I mean here pretty soon. But anyway, vibration will help you to time the break. So if you find it tricky to get right, try turning the vibration on. An error occurred. That's interesting. I wonder what kind of error. Hopefully it won't affect gameplay. We already know what the snow resort looks like. Current orienteering progress. And you can see off camera I completed all three of them. And by the way guys, I do have to apologize. I was being an idiot in the last video. I did not complete the middle uh, task on camera. Because the t this is a very similar one, whereas the one I did on camera, it was from the peak to the base, while this one was from the base to the peak. So it's reverse of what I did. It's pretty much the same button reverse, but technically I did not do that one on camera. And for that, I do apologize for you guys, but you can see I got all of them completed. I got plus 8,000 points all together. Big reason why I'm at level 60 right now, so... Amazing, you completed all the orienteering quests. Come back tomorrow for more fun and exploration. But yeah, with my orienteering task done, my main goal today is just simply finding all the um, treasure chests. And we're actually going to start off here. We're actually going to go along this um, part of the resort right here. This is going to be another short video, by the way. Uh, probably between 15 and 20 minutes because it's not going to take all that long to find everything here. No, it's jumping makes things go by quicker. I don't know. That might be just me. Treasure chest number one is actually along here. What you have to do is take this westernmost path here. And we have to look for a nook that's on the right hand side. I know when I was- I actually did a practice run of this just to make sure I knew where all the treasure chests were. Though I didn't open up any that I didn't open up before, but um... Yeah, the, off camera, the, the skiers seem to be extra dumb for some reason, but... Anyway, I already have this one open, which I, I'm pretty sure I found this one by accident one time. But with that out, out of the way, we're actually going to take a shortcut here. And we're going to go up here to the Rose area to find treasure chest number two. Okay, treasure chest number two should be somewhere along here. And this is another one that I found on camera that I happened to encounter by accident. I think I found this one during the night time. And I already opened up this one. This is treasure chest number two. And from here, we're just going to go ahead and go to treasure chest number three, which is actually... And I notice jumping helps with my steering, too, especially whenever I'm trying to go on the snow. Okay, we just gotta get from the peak here. Uh, see? <laughs> Stupid skiers. But yeah, we're just gonna go up here on uh, snowboarder almost ate it as well. But anyway, let's go along here. Let's take the westernmost path, which... I usually do just for, for a frame of reference, but... Wow, that's a big storm ahead. You see that? That's actually kind of scary. That's actually kind of cool, too. 
Oh wait, I did take pictures of you guys. I was gonna take another. I was gonna take a picture of you guys, but I already did. Now, treasure chest number three is kind of tricky. Let's see if I can get in here. Hopefully, I'm going the right way. Okay, there we go. Yeah, now I'm good. Now, whenever I did my practice on this, try to find treasure chest number three, I could actually kick myself because I've actually been through here several times. As a matter of fact, I've been through here while I was trying to do that um, orienteering task. Of, um, oh, I already got... I slowed down for no reason there. Okay, we just gotta time this right. Just gotta time this right... Now! There we go. No, slow down. And here's treasure chest number three. Yeah, I actually went over this several times, especially when I was trying to do that one orienteering task from going from the peak to the base. And whenever I discovered this, I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. But anyway, you wanna open up this box? Yep. And I got the jumpsuit outfit. Pretty cool. And without further ado, we're gonna go to treasure chest number four. Uh oh. Okay. Oh. Yeah, I don't know what it is, but it just doesn't seem like I have very much control over my um, snowmobile. Hey there, red coin. Now, treasure chest number four, I know for a fact I opened on camera, and I know you guys know this too. Treasure chest number four is actually in the secret cave area, which I'm going to show off anyway just so you guys see where all the treasure chests uh, are in case you are playing this game and want a quick reference of where they're at yeah it just doesn't seem like I have very much control over my snowmobile anymore I'm not quite sure what the deal is with that see I'm like bumper I'm like the steering on here is just it just feels off to me for some weird reason One. Yeah, I, it's like I have no steering. I do want to get the balloons. Oh, this is interesting. I wish my guy had some form of control over the snowmobile. That would be awesome. And I'm gonna need control over here. Jump! Okay, let's go in this volcano area. Okay, don't go too fast. And there's treasure chest number four over there. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, treasure chest number four is right here. And we're gonna make our way out of this secret area here. This is just so cool. I can't believe something like this was actually in the game. And I actually found this by accident. My very first time here. I actually found this place by... It wasn't even intentional. I just happened to go through the cosmos area, hug the left hand side, and just happened to be here. Come on. I'm not even going that fast. Okay, treasure chest five and six are pretty much in the same vicinity as each other. So we're just gonna go ahead here. Oh, 
Hopefully the skews get out of my way. Yeah, we're gonna go down here, and then we're gonna go back up. Now, treasure chest number five is actually at the base where the bi the giant sun is. See if we can make ourselves back up to that point, which I can already see the base right there. We just gotta travel up here. And treasure chest number five is inside this nook right here. Let's see what's in this chest. Do you want to open up this box? Yep. Actually, it said, do you want to open this box? I, I added the word up in there, but anyway, I got the t-shirt outfit. I just noticed the sound that my guy's making when he jumps up and down. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but yeah, t-shirt outfit. That's the first time I've ever heard that because usually a t-shirt... T-shirt doesn't really constitute a whole outfit. It's just a t-shirt. It's, it's, it's the top of an outfit. Now, we just gotta turn around here. You can see Bear Forest behind us. And we actually have to go through there, because that's where treasure chest number six is. Hey! See, I can do that too. And you see that giant Christmas tree over there? We have to head to where the giant Christmas tree is. And dude, can you ski any slower? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna hug the left hand side here. Did I mess this up already? I think I might have messed this up. This was the one I was worried about doing my practice one. Yeah, I think I might have messed this up. Let me go back. And this was the one I was afraid of, too. No, I didn't. Okay. Aw, poor rabbit. along here. Okay, here here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay, turn around. No, I need you to turn around. 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 Here we go. Yeah, this was the one I was worried about the most, especially during my practice run. But anyway, we're at the giant Christmas tree, and treasure chest number six is right here beside this house. Let's open up the chest. Do you want to open this box? Does not have the word up in it. And I got the snowman outfit, now also available at the snowman, gr at the, yeah, snowman grounds. The villa grounds. It's pretty cool. And again with me in my squeaky shoes. Well, you're in the snow resort. Of course it's gonna be cold. But anyway, I'm not even gonna waste any more time. We're gonna go find treasure chest number seven. I can't believe we've almost found all the treasure chests already. But anyway, we're gonna go along here. And we need to take this middle pathway here because we need to get to the frozen lake where 
the ice fishing in that is. Just gonna go down here. We just gotta go along here, turn around. Actually, well, I could have just done that. Okay. And you probably see that icon over there. There is treasure chest number seven. I wonder what those flags are supposed to mean. Oh, that dude just took a digger. This is the seventh and final treasure chest at the snow resort. Do you want to open the spots? Yes. And I got the doggy outfit. Oh. Now also available available at the villa grounds. That's pretty cool. You can't ski on the, the um, what would you call it? Not, this, I guess this would be concrete. But regardless of what it is, it's not snow and you can't ski on it. But just to give you guys a reference, just in case you guys... Because you don't want to go over that building over there straight ahead. You don't want to go there in order to find the, the treasure chest. You need to go to this place, which is called Hotel Yantel. Hotel Yantel is where you need to be. But there we go. We found all seven treasure chests. Some of them were a little bit tricky to find, even on my practice run, but... Hopefully you guys, if you guys watch this video, oh that, holy crap, those two, those two dudes just completely disappeared. But hopefully this video helped you guys, if you're playing this game, find all the treasure chests. And I'm just going to spend the rest of the video trying to get back to base. So we're just gonna go down here. Going through Tiger Slope. But yeah, I did all the orienteering tasks. I showed you guys where all the treasure chests were and snow resort, which we are now three for four in finding all the treasure chests in each resort. The only resort we have to do now is Mountain Resort, which I'll be doing in the next video, and hopefully I'll see you guys then, so... But thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope you guys are enjoying this series, and I'll be seeing you guys again next time.